Grammar Girl here. When you're chuffed, are you pleased or displeased? Amazingly, you could be either. Chuffed is part of a small set of English words that mean both one thing and the opposite. They're called Janus words, contronyms, or autoantonyms. And this week, we're going to learn how to use them carefully. Words like chuffed and sanction are called autoantonyms because they're their own antonym. An antonym is a word with an opposite meaning. For example, wiggly is an antonym of still. A wiggly baby is the opposite of a still baby. Most words can have lots of antonyms, not just one. So thrashing is also an antonym of still. A thrashing baby is also the opposite of a still baby. When you add the prefix auto, which means self, you get autoantonym, a word that has at least two opposite meanings, allowing it to be its own antonym. However, I like the name Janus word, which comes from the Roman god Janus, who's often shown with two faces, one pointing forward and one pointing back. Janus looking in opposite directions at the same time is a good metaphor for words that have two opposite meanings. I covered this topic in the grammar devotional, and it came to my attention again a few months ago when I heard the word chuffed used twice in one week. I'd never heard it before, so I didn't know what it meant. And from the context, it seemed like one person was using it to mean pleased, and the other person was using it to mean irritated. Tom Merritt said he was very well chuffed to have Will Harris on his podcast. And Jessica Gross on the Slate Double X Gab Fest said she's not all that chuffed that there are more male engineers in the world than female engineers, meaning it didn't bother her that much. And I thought, chuffed can't mean both those things. I'd seen lists of Janus words before, but chuffed was never on those lists. But I looked it up in the Oxford English Dictionary, and the entry is very short. A. Pleased or satisfied. B. Displeased or disgruntled. Janus word it is. Although my British friends assure me that the pleased meaning is much more common. Although chuffed is an uncommon word in American English, other Janus words are more common and require that you use them carefully. For example, a couple of weeks ago, I told you that the Associated Press had sanctioned the use of hopefully as a sentence adverb, meaning that it's okay to write a sentence like, hopefully the clown wasn't hurt when they shot him out of the cannon. That clearly means that the Associated Press put its stamp of approval on such sentences. But if I had written that the Associated Press sanctioned writers it found using hopefully this way, it would mean that they had punished those writers taking action against hopefully instead of supporting it. Sanction can mean to approve or ratify something, but it can also mean to punish or penalize someone. However, you're safer using it to mean approve. The Oxford English Dictionary sniffs its nose at the penalize meaning, calling it of doubtful acceptability. And Brian Garner, who trains lawyers to write and is the author of Garner's Modern American Usage, says that lawyers who use the penalize meaning risk being misunderstood since the approve meaning is dominant in legal circles. So even though sanction has two meanings, just like chuffed, one is more common and people could be confused if you use the uncommon one. Other Janus words are easier to deal with. Cleave, for example. Cleave can mean to cling to something or someone. You can cleave to the side of a cliff while you're waiting to be rescued and marriage vows often talk about cleaving to your spouse. But cleave can also mean to separate or split something apart. Nature lovers talk about canyons cleaving mountains, and scientists talk about enzymes cleaving proteins. Dust is another straightforward Janus word. If you dust your table, you're removing dust. But if you dust your cake with powdered sugar, you're adding sugar. Finally, another Janus word that, like dust, can mean both add and remove, is seed. When you seed a tomato, you remove the seeds. But when you seed a lawn, you add the seeds. Janus words are fun to think about. There aren't a ton of them. Most lists I've seen have fewer than 30 words. See if you can come up with more on your own, and just know that it's important to make your sentences clear when you use them so people don't misinterpret your meaning. You can find a complete transcript of this podcast at quickanddirtytips.com. And while you're there, check out the Get Fit Guy's new guide to achieving your ideal body. I'm Mignon Fogarty. That's all. Thanks for listening. <laughs>